Matt Trainer. Oh, Wendy Chavez, one of the best Mets ever. Adam Kennedy. I got a block. Miguel Cabrera. Give me something good. Scott Rowland. Matt Garza. Jose Guillen. Carlos the Bone Beltran. Hey, look, another Kazuki Fukudomi rookie card. Wow. I'm doing good. Carlos Zambrano, crazy Carlos. Oh, I got an Ichiro. Season highlight, Ichiro. Season highlight. And I got a BJ Upton Star Quest. All right, so, yeah. I got Ichiro. Let's see, we got another one here. Let's see what we got. I like to get something, gee. All right, let's see what we got here. On the next pack, we got a Mike Hampton. Chris Duffy. Jacoby Ellsbury. Oh, I got a Mike, Mike Pelfrey. Look at that. Eric Chavez. I'm going to give it to Mojo. Shaq's going to do Mojo for the last two packs. Ryan Braun. Mustache Mojo only works once a night. And sometimes it don't work. Jeremy Reed. I got a Jose Bautista. Scott Haston. Boy, Carlos Gomez. Mike Cameron. Carl Crawford. Denard Spann. Dimitri Young. These packs can make you tired of so many cards. CC on the Indians. Hey, Jose Reyes. We got Jose. 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 Tyler Stovall. USA card. I got a Troy Tulowitzki Star Quest. Right there. Yeah, it's a rare one anyway. That's what it says on the back. Hey, yeah. I think uh, I think those those rare star quests you put like five together, you might get ninety five cents. All right, we're gonna go to another trivia. Get ready. Yeah, the USA's are nice, but uh, you know there's always a a need for cards. Probably except for about six cards here so far. I'll put them in my charity packs I give out to the poor. What are you gonna do? They gotta have cards too. All right, we're gonna go do hockey. Number six on the night, we're doing hockey here, and it's an old school lot here. Wow, we got some old hockey cards here to give out. Oh, peaches, oh, peaches. Those are those ones they give out in Canada. All right, what do we got here? We got a Dave Hutchinson, oh, peachy card from the Kings. We got a Yvonne Labrie, oh, peachy card from the Capitals. He's a raw. 1975-76 Opeaches. A Garnet Bailey from the Capitals. A Bill Fairburn from the Rangers. A Barry Wilkins from the Penguins. And a Rick Kehoe from the Penguins. So somebody's going to win that whole lot of old school 75, 76, oh, peachy cards. If they get this hockey question right. Number six on the night. Get ready. Number six. Here it is. Who won the 2001 Vezina Trophy? Who won the 2001 Vezina Trophy? And spelling has to be close. Spelling has to be very close. The 2001 Vezina Trophy. Who won that? That's all I want to know. 
for that beautiful Opeachy card lot. Everybody's Googling because nobody knows. Who won the 2001 Bazina Trophy? Dominique Hasek is correct. Raider Nation 75's got it. He's coming back. Watch out. Raider Nation 75's got it. Dominique Hasek. All right. That's his second of the night. Second question of the night. And then we got a ticket for the big box. Go right in that big box there. All right. We got some more acquisitions going on. What do we got for acquisitions? A lot of acquisitions. Always a lot of acquisitions. Oh, the Broncos. Maybe my, my Bronco buddy like this. We got a Leaf Limited Eric Decker rookie jersey card. Number to 50. Whoops. Number to 50. Low number. All right, let's see. Oh, who's this guy here? Cardinals. Cardinals. Andre Roberts, Topps Platinum Rookie Autograph. It's a flashy card. I like those Platinums. Oh, here's my man Braylon. Too bad he can't be with us this year, Braylon. What are you going to do? A nice Braylon Edwards Leaf Limited jersey. Yeah. Poor Braylon. What are you going to do? Can't get out of trouble. Yeah. I liked him. But he's going to be in jail, maybe. That's the problem. All right. We got a SPX X Fractor signature. Another Bronco guy I can trade to my guy. Sullivan Young. Rookie. Uh, is it a rookie? Maybe not a rookie, but it's an autograph. All right. Sullivan Young. Wow. Look at that autograph. Wow. Is that classic? Unbelievable. These things came in. I just thought I'd show you these. Anybody ever see these five-star cards? Look at that. They're very thick cards. These are base cards. Look at that. I got a, we'll see what I got. I got a Percy Harvin. Anybody good? Lee Evans. Lewis Murphy. Oh, a Raider. Watch out. Oh, Michael Turner. Oh, another Raider. Zach Miller. They're all numbered out of 79. Super thick cards. They must have got something good, though, because I think they're expensive. And if that's all you got, there must have been something good in there otherwise. All right. Well, oh, we got another football here. What do we got? It's a Chase Kaufman autograph from National Chickle. Right there. Yeah. All right, we're going to go on to our seventh trivia here. Seventh trivia, so get ready. We have a baseball question coming up. And our prize for the seventh trivia is the SPX Winning Materials Dontrell Willis card with the stripe. Dontrell. My man, Dontrell. There he is. All right. Here we go with our seventh question tonight. Good luck. Number seven for the baseball. Who was the first player to win Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same season? Who was the first player to win Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same season? That's the question. Now, now, who was the first player to win Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same season? And you got to put the Fred Lynn. Good guys has got it. Fred Lynn. Good guys has got another one. Fred Lynn is the answer. Good guys is the second one of the night. Fred Lynn. All right. We're going to put good guys. Get him another ticket for the big box. All right. That's two already. Okay. Not bad. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about baseball. We said something about the Yankees. Now, the Met, Met News, the biggest thing the Met News can come up with is that Bud Selig is mad about the Mets coming public on the hat deal. You Met fans know about the hat deal. I thought that was a bum deal. They should have been able to wear those fire department and, and policeman hats from New York City on 9-11. I, I mean, that, that was uh, a horrific event that needs mem remembrance, and uh, they should have been able to wear those hats. I don't know what the big deal was. But then when they went public... Cry baby Bud Sealy got mad. Well, 
I don't like that guy. I don't know why. He's uh, like a crybaby. So, and I don't think he's that honest either. But anyway, they should have been able to wear those hats. I don't think what, what the big deal was. Now, uh, I don't know if he find the Mets or something like that. But what's the difference? If they want to wear the hats for that day, I can't see why not. Yeah? Also, oh, I don't know if you heard, uh, big steroid head Manny Ramirez just got arrested. He beats his wife. Imagine. So many steroids that he can't hit a baseball no more because he's still steroided up that he now beats his wife. That's nice. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully he'll go to jail. All right, also, the Devils. We're going to talk a little hockey. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe beat her with his dreadlocks. That's even worse. By now, his dreadlocks are probably down to you know where. But anyway, uh, the Devils, I don't know if you remember, a few weeks ago I announced that they're in financial trouble. Only here at the Mr. 95 Cent Show do you get the first highlighted early news. Now all of a sudden it's in the news that they are in financial trouble. They're not being able to pay the rent there or whatever. They've been skipping some rent payments. And still hanging over their heads is that $30 million music lawsuit. So, I don't know. They better sign a couple guys and get some people in there. I think their, their seats are too expensive for what they give you. And if they lower the prices a little bit, maybe they'll get some fans. You never know. All right, we're going to go to our eighth trivia of the night here. And it's football, football. So get ready. What do I got for a prize? I got a nice, oh, a cowboy. When the cowboys used to be good. I got a Topps unrivaled Roger Stallback card numbered out of 499. Roger Stallback out of 499 right there from Topps unrivaled right there. All right. Here comes our question. Our eighth question of the night. Oh, you don't even have to Google this. This is an easy one. Number eight. To the nearest inch, how long is an NFL football? To the nearest inch, how long is an NFL football? That's all I want to know. To the nearest inch, how long is an NFL football? Eleven. Who's got it? Gent fan. Gent fan ten. He's got it first. Eleven. Gent Fan 10's got it. He's got the stall back. All right. Gent Fan 10. All right. He's got it. Gent Fan 10. He's got the Roger stall back. And he's got a chance for the big box. Gent Fan 10. All right. He goes in the big box. That was our eighth question of the night. Yep. Gent won something. So get ready. All right. Don't forget. All the prizes are free. All the shipping and handling is free. At the end of the show, send me your email or blog message and we'll send that stuff out. Don't forget, we're down at the beautiful studio at 548 Spiegel Avenue, Mars Plains, the Sports Page Studio. We're also on eBay at Sports PG with all the auctions starting at 95 cents. And we got the Sport Car hiding out too, so get ready. Take a look at all the links are down the bottom. A little bit on YouTube too. All right, what do we got next to us? Some more acquisitions, not too many left. A few baseball ones. It was actually a light week for baseball acquisition, but there was some nice stuff. This came in. This used to be something. This used to be a hot set, I remember, but we looked it up, and now it's only selling for like 12 bucks. But it was still nice. It's all sealed. A 1992 Trop Tops Traded Set. I believe that's the one with No More the Nose in it. No More the Nose Garcia Parra. Yeah? Who, I tell you, this guy, he had it. He hasn't been in sport cars for a while, and he probably bought that back around then when it was real hot, and probably sold them for about 80 bucks at least. And he says, uh, that's all it's going for? I says, well, here's the story. No more than those. I can remember people sitting around. We had a big talk. Who was better? No more than those or Jeter? I was the only one in the room that said Jeter. No more than those was considered that good. But you know what happened, and... His cars went down because no more than those couldn't take it. He got hurt and his career went. <clears throat> so, and Jeter's the king, so that's it. So, as usual, 
Mr. 95 cents was right as usual. All right. Also, oh, this was nice. This I like because when I was growing up, this guy was the manager of the Yankees most of the time. A 1952 Topps Ralph Hout. Look at that. 19, and it's not in bad shape either for that. 1952. They call him the Major. Ralph Hout. Not a bad player, but boy, he was over here. Oh, and this is the best thing that came in this week by far. And it's a nice shape. This is going to the grading company. A 1958 Topps Mickey Mantle. Look at that. 1958 Topps Mickey Mantle. Oh, yeah, we get some stuff. I can't complain. The people bring in some stuff. We got our big auction coming up. On November 12th, I think it is. Let me get the thing before I say the wrong date. I got the sports page news, which I was supposed to grab one, and I did. All right, let's see here. We have live auctions at the sports page. And the next big live auction is November 12th. November 12th. If you want to consign items, if you're in the area, in Morris Plains, New Jersey, you can consign items to the auction until September 30th. There's going to be some nice stuff. I'll give you a little preview already. It's stuff is coming in. Saturday we started taking things in. Somebody just bought in a JSA certified 1954 Boston Red Sox autograph baseball with 25 autographs on it. Is that crazy? Ted Williams is right on the sweet spot, and it's in beautiful shape, unbelievable. So that's our first bigger item that's come in, but we've already got probably about 40 items that came in in like the last couple of days. Also, we have a box breaking thing going on on the 22nd. So it's still open only to the store, but if, tell you what, if we don't fill it by Tuesday next week, I'm going to open it up to the blog TV people. We got a lot of spots left, but everybody is uh, waiting. Pack Wars, that's a big thing with packs. Somebody's going to win our $500 showcase. That's on October 15th over here at the sports page. And there's all kinds of other stuff going on, but I won't bore you with all the details. All our events are on the www.sportcardhideout.com site in the events section. Also on our eBay page. at Sports PG on eBay. We have all the events also. So if you're in the area, it's some place to go. I'll tell you, we do a lot, a lot of stuff over here. All right, we're going to go to our ninth trivia of the night, and it's basketball. So get ready, basketball. What do we got here? We have a totally certified Jose Calderon jersey card. Jose Calderon jersey card. And it's not a Nick question, Raider Nation, so get ready. It's not a Nick question. All right, here we go with the question. Yep. Which player was drafted 13th overall in the 1996 NBA draft? What player, you need the whole name of a player, was drafted 13th in the 1996 draft? You need the whole name if it's a player, don't forget. And it's Kobe Bryant is correct. MYTTMS has got it. Kobe Bryant's got it first. MYTTMS has got it. I saw Kobe up there, but that doesn't do it. You have to have the whole name. Sorry. The whole name's got to go in there. MYTTMS has got that one. All right, he's got the whole name first. That's his fourth of the night. He must have been studying. So his name goes in the big box here. Right there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Kobe Bryant, 13th. You never know what's going to happen. All right, talking about the NBA, uh, they're still on strike. Who knows if they're even going to play? But meanwhile, these I didn't realize, you know, you really don't follow it a lot until you see this strike and all this stuff going on. Then you look at what players make. I was talking about that last week. And that, now there's something new come up. I didn't realize it, that if the NBA teams don't collectively, I guess, spend... 57% of their revenue on players' salaries, they get, like, fined. So this past year, they did not spend 57% of their revenue on players' salaries. So therefore, they are fined $190 million. 
$190 million to get fined just because they didn't spend 50% of the money that they made on salaries. Now that means, an example, I think I wrote it down here somewhere, like Kobe Bryant gets $25.4 million for the year, which is a pretty nice salary. But because of this, everything is prorated, I guess, percentage-wise upon what you make. He's going to get an extra two point something million. Because, God forbid, the teams make any money. They've got to spend 57% of what they make on the players' salaries. Is that crazy? No wonder we got to pay. Uh, I think I told you guys my accountant came in. It was like $1,200 for a courtside seat for the lousy Nets. They're on, they're on drugs. It's unbelievable. They've got to get back to real life. You know some fellows? The, I think they're the worst sport as far as salaries. It's crazy. You know, if you look at the salaries per team, there's not that many guys on a team. It's nuts. And they don't really appreciate it either, most of these guys, if you hear them talk. So let them go to China. Let them go to Turkey. Let them go to Greece. Let them go all over. We'll get new guys. Forget about it. No, because they're just, they get this new agreement. You're going to have to pay 200 bucks to sit out in the boondocks. That's going to be fun, right? All right. What do we got next? Oh, we, got, we only got one more question left, but we got two more packs. Two more packs coming up, and but Shaq's going to get the chance for the mojo. All right, Shaq, come on, do it for me. We got some Shaq mojo got to come up here. Shaq mojo. All right. Shaq wants to do some mojo. Yeah. All right, here we go. Two, last two packs up the deck. When I did the stash mojo, I got a Derek Lee... Jersey, and I got a nice political predictor card. Let's see with the Shaq. I got a Dave DeLucia card. Eric Burns. Giovanni Soto. Put that up. Carlos Guillen. Norris Hopper. Jeff Supan. Hong Chi Ko, whatever his name is. Hong Ki. Chris Carpenter. Mark Tien. I got a block. I can always use those blocks. Lasting Millage. Akinora Iwamora. Mike Morse. Boy, Shaq, so far this pack ain't too good. Mark Hedrickson. Please, even on the Cedars and Highlights. Brian Roberts. Troy Tulowitzki. Kyle McClellan, rookie. Greg Maddox, season highlight. There we go. And the Miguel Cabrera, Star Quest. All right, well, Shaq didn't do that great that time, but he's got another pack. He's surprising me with the other pack, right, Shaq? I got to get some. Come on. All right, let's see here. Our last pack of the night. We got a Sean Casey. Chipper Jones. Aaron Cook. Josh Fields. Orlando Hudson. Dan Ugla. Vincent Padilla. Oh, Jose. Jose Reyes. Look at that. Without the hair. Brad Penny. I got a block. Yeah, I might have to. I don't know, Shaq. I'm not going to say nothing yet till I'm done. Tom Gordon. Troy Percival. 
Marcos Curtaro, Randy Wolf. Yeah, it don't look good. Matt Holiday. Ryan Braun. Calix Crab. Rookie. Petey Paramore, USA. And they got a Vladimir Guerrero Star Quest. Wow. Yeah, Shaq's laughing at me. Shaq? I like you, Shaq, but guess what? I gotta do something else next week. This could be the end of the... Sh uh, yeah, this could be the end of Shaq Mojo. He ain't been doing much for me. I don't know if you noticed, all these cards here... That's a lot of cards. I think the only Yankee I got was Shelly Duncan, who's not even a Yankee anymore. Unbelievable. But what are you going to do? All right, we got our 10th question of the night. Our last question, don't forget, we have the Sean Green jersey we're giving out after this question. Yep, after this question, we're giving out the Sean Green jersey. Whoever is in our box from our 10 questions will get that jersey card when we pull out the, the winner from that box. All right, we have a nice Topps Archives lot here. The Topps Archives, what year was this one? 2001 Topps Archives lot. We have a Mike Cuellar card in our lot. Shaq's head three times, you never know. Ryan Sandberg, Topps Archives. A Don Sutton, Topps Archives. Enos Slaughter, Topps Archives. Tommy Lasorda, Topps Archives. Johnny Mize, Topps Archives. And an Early Win, Topps Archives. Should I uh, give Shaq another chance next week? I don't know. Maybe I'll rub his head. I can reach his head, I think. What do you think? All right, here comes our tenth question of the night. All right. Number ten. It's baseball for our Topps Archives lot. What player stopped Ty Cobb's streak of nine consecutive batting titles won? Which player, by winning it, stopped Ty Cobb's nine consecutive seasons of batting titles won? Which player was that? That's all I want to know. Our tenth question of the night. Tenth question of the night. That's all I want to know. I'm not seeing the answer yet. It's not easy. It's an old time, old time baseball question. Old time. No. No. What player stopped Ty Cobb's streak of nine consecutive batting titles won? Tris Speaker is correct. Raider Nation's got it. Raider Nation's got it. Tris Speaker. All right. Tris Speaker is correct. Raider Nation's got one in there. All right. Let me get a ticket here. Let's see. Tris Speaker is correct on our 10th question of the night. Okay, I gotta. Oh, maybe I don't have. I gotta make a ticket. All right, we gotta. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, Raider Nation gets another ticket in the big box. Okay. All right, we're gonna go for our grand prize, but you know we only got about 30 seconds on this recording, so we're gonna hold off on that for a second. Let the recording run out, and then we're gonna start up and pick our stuff. <laughs> 